Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on the long road back playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, we're going to be playing Search and Destroy. Uh, this was my, this is what I got started in when I played uh, World at War, which was my first Call of Duty. Technically COD 4 was, but I didn't play a lot of COD 4 pre-World at War. So World at War was my real first, like, COD that I played the whole year. Uh, and I mostly played S&D with a couple of friends, uh, Devil Spawn, and it's been, like, I've talked to Devil Spawn more recently. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, but, but, um, all we did was play S&D. You're the last man standing. Show me grace under pressure. Demo KIA. Oh shit. And I didn't make it in. Outrider neutralized. I saw the jump. How many? There's two guys left. And I got shotied. Did I or was it, that, that? Yeah, it was a shotgun. And I had him too. That's so annoying. But like I was saying, there was a I forget what the guy's name was that we used to play. Was it? It was Nightmare something or something like that. He was really good. Uh, but I don't know. He just stopped playing. He might have moved to PlayStation. I don't actually know what happened to him, but. We, I haven't talked to him since. I haven't talked to, I was concentrating, but I haven't talked to him since, since the beginning of Modern Warfare 2, but he was, he was probably one of the, I don't know, it's hard to compare because being like really good at World of War, it's a whole lot different than being really good at Black Ops 3. Like, it, it's just different, you know. Really good at World at War was, like, dropping six, like 20 kills in S&D. Being really good at Black Ops 3 is in, if the games ended at four rounds, it would be, you know, 25, 30 kills. It's just, it's just the difference. And like the caliber of players are better, obviously, but he was one of the he was the best World of War player I ever played with. He was like, I don't know, we'd play search, you know, I'd have my games with him, but he was he was a ten plus kill every game. He was one of the best. Let me switch up to an AR. Oh, okay, I should have known better. But he, um, that, that's where I got my start, Search and Destroy. It's still what I love to play. I play more Respawn now because, you know, kill streaks and all that stuff. But I was really, um, I still love myself some Search and Destroy. It's still my favorite game mode, despite the limited amount of time I play it. Um, let me mute everybody. I had to hear people complaining when they die um but I, I i'm not as good as good at it anymore i don't know the routes as well as i should uh like on world of war i knew all the routes i knew i knew nade spawn spots i knew nades on bomb spots uh same with modern warfare 2 i kind of started playing less and less the time the games went on i think Black Ops, I still played a lot. Modern Warfare 3, I played a lot of Dom and Demo. Uh, but not, I still played a lot. Black Ops 2, I played like limited search. Like really limited search. Okay, we are literally... Okay! Yeah, I am not about to pop my head around that corner. Forget that. I gotta move. Post. You're the 
There we go. Alright, clean that up. Um, but it's progressively gone now. Obviously, it's really gone progressively downhill because I... I played less and less, but I mean, even in Ghost, out of the time I played, I think 90% 90 per, 90 of it was respawn. Played limited search in Ghost. Um, but I think like this, you know, it's a little bit boring when I die, obviously. I don't even know where to go, because I just feel like I'm going to get sniped off spawn here. These guys are just gonna sit. I'm gonna try to watch their back here. Demo splash. It's all on you. Bring this home. Oh shit. Nope. We lost the battle, but the war goes Somehow I'm doing the best on my team. I'm not entirely sure how this is happening, but I would say, you know, let me continue with my story. I probably should have I probably should have head glitched up there and tried to fight that gunfight. No, there were it was a four on two. It was a four on one. How is how? I want to someone explain to me how this guy who's level four hundred and sixty three is doing worse than I am or doing the same. It makes no sense. We keep we keep finding creative ways to like hang around in this game. There's two left. One left. None left. A whole gravity spice. I'm still doing the best. I am doing better than the level 238. I'm 42. Like with the most limited playtime on this game. If I had one more kill, I'd be tied for best in the lobby. This should not, like, once again, this these things should not be happening. Defend the objective. That guy really, okay, he got the kill. He's down, okay. No one watches this. Why am I, like, the only one that watches our back? Okay. That guy does know Wists. Oh, there's only one left. Okay, we won. I was I was posted up wait I was like, oh, do we have like four guys left on the other team? Um guy does know like I know this with this game. If you pop psychosis If you pop psychosis, you you can't run. Those guys that run in front somehow we came back and won that. Crushed it. I wish I could have clutched up that first round. Boom, crushed it. I feel like I feel like that could have been something great. I could have clutched that up. But alas, we'll get back out here in the next game. I love Search and Destroy. Um, it is a little bit slower paced, but it's something that I enjoy doing. You know, watching like Netflix and like or texting. If I, if I was like in the middle of, like a text conversation. Surge and Destroy was my shit because I could just rush and, you know, I died or I got a kill. So, it was pretty simple. I don't, I, I don't want to play Nuketown Search. I want to play something else Search so that I cannot have to worry about getting spawn sniped so badly. But, yeah, it was just something, I guess this will just be my Search and Destroy story time. I guess that's what this episode will be. I'll tell better stories in the next couple games. We'll probably play two games more. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like playing Black Ops 3 tonight. Uh, might actually record two videos. I was planning to just record one, but I played that one game. Now I'm kind of like feeling it. Now I'm kind of enjoying this. Um, me, oops. I need to put grip on, not quick draw. I kind of want a more accurate. I want my stupid M8, but I don't. See, like, this is something I don't even know in this game. When I... 
uh, when I finish this, uh, what should I, I feel like high cow wouldn't be bad. Quick draw is necessary, you gotta be able to get on target. I don't feel like all these perks I'm using are necessary. Blast Suppressor is... Dead Silence, you don't get to level 50, which is some hot BS. I guess this will work. This class is fine. I don't really need Tack Mask or or Flak, but whatever. I probably should be using a different... Should be using a different um, specialist. Probably be using Glitch or... Gravity Spikes wouldn't be bad. Active Camo's not bad either. Neither is Psychosis. I don't think Kinetic Armor is the best for Search, but if I can get it... I can't get it. It takes too long. Uh, but if I could get it, it would be nice for a quick rush. We're going to use the KN. Um, I'm happy we got... Combine is still another tight map. Search and destroy. Okay, I'm going to try this. You guys saw how I played this map. We played it. Bomb acquired. We played it in a respawn. Okay, homie's just out here. I gotta dip out. Okay, 1v2. I'm assuming my teammates saw him. Bomb is armed. I'm gonna play this smart. Okay, he came over here, so. Uh, what was he shooting at then? Oh, he was a. Uh, oh, fuck. Battery down. The real thing with Surge that I, I... I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if it's the case in this game. Let me let me not say that before I see. Hold up. Switching operation I don't know. Point. If you get them in previous Call of Duties, at least, um, you wanted to get at least one kill per round because uh, it gave you the match bonus. Or you at least wanted to get an assist. I'm going to watch this for him. Uh, but you wanted to get at least a kill. Because that allowed you to get the match bonus for each round. Enemy down. I'm still just trying to watch this. I really should probably be getting kills, but I'm trying to just... Ah! I thought I could, I thought I could beat him off the head glitch because I knew he was there. Uh, but if you got a kill here in the in the the round loss or the round one screen, you know you get the match bonus. I don't even know if that's the case in this game, but um, if you got the match bonus, you wanted to get the match bonus to get the experience to maximize your experience per game. Like it, in Surge, for me, it was more about maximizing my kills and maximizing my. It depended on, I guess it depends on how I wanted to play. Sometimes I wanted to maximize my, I don't want the bomb, because I want to go over here. Okay, he's coming, is he coming with us anyway? It's like I'm beating these guys to it every time. Ah, oh, shit, that was a bad decision to shoot.
damn it. I turned... That's... That's the Call of Duty timing on another level. Like, right when I turned to check behind me, he came over. Like, that's the call... That's the Call of Duty timing at its finest. Uh, but I guess I told you the guys this would be search and destroy. Like, uh... Like, story time. But, I was like, uh... I was it Modern Warfare 2? I have like 30 days played on Modern Warfare 2. Because I had I was sick a bunch my freshman year of high school, which was Modern Warfare 2. And I just had some unbelievably high amount of time played on that game. But a lot of it was search. I actually am gonna do a little series on it. Someone needs to watch our bed. Wait, 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 wait. Where did that guy go that was watching our bag? Alright, there's the round cleaned up. Um, But I had some crazy time on Search and Destroy and Modern Warfare 2. I met a lot of my Call of Duty friends that I played with on Black Ops 1 and even into Modern Warfare 3. Most of them I met in Search on, on Modern Warfare 2. I'd go into Search and I'd just talk. Um, you know, you meet a lot of dicks in chat, but met a lot of cool people too. And, ah, oh, damn it, I didn't want this. Okay, I guess I'll play the objective. Well, hot damn, dude. Damn it! Light there, more call, of, more Call of Duty timing for your boy. Neutralized. Oh, he saw me, but. On my screen, it looked like he was looking forward, and then he turned to the right. It looked like the the worst Call of Duty timing in history of the world. But I met a lot of, like uh, mad ass choppers. I don't do a lot of talking on Xbox anymore. Like I, don't, I just don't like the limited time I, I record a little bit, and that's about my time spent on Xbox. I just don't have time anymore to to spend hours and hours and hours playing. Um, playing Call of Duty anymore, so obviously that's why I'm level 42. Um, like I wish I, I I wish I could go back to the the high school days of Call of Duty where I where I was just I was low key just dominant at the game. I actually, I kind of want to stay here. I want to change it up. In case that guy pushes me. Alright, either you are going to get have to watch our back, or I'm going to have to do it. Looks like he's going to do it. I'm just going to peek. Alright. This whole going to this side of the map, it was, it was the hot spot at the early part of the game, but it's not anymore. My story time is pretty shitty, like, um... Let me just continue my story. Um... There was this kid that I used to play with in Search and Destroy, and man, was he just awful. He, he was like a really cool guy, but he was just, he was just straight, I gotta do something else. Like, I, I can't be. I guess, you know what, we've done it the whole game, let me just do it now. Um, but he was just, he was just awful, but he was funny. He was actually kind of cool. I'm not fighting that gunfight, never gonna win that shit. All right, well, someone's got, bro, if you're not watching our back, we're dead. How the hell did, he... I gotta, wa I gotta see this. How did he let this happen? Okay, it wasn't this guy. I don't care about this guy. How did my teammate let that happen? How on earth did he let that happen to us? That is unreal, how he let that happen to us. Okay, but I can continue story time now. This will probably be like a two-part of mini stories. But there was this kid. He was, just, he was like, he was like a lovable, he was a lovable idiot. He was just bad. There was no other way to put it. He like, he had, he was max prestige on every like he get max prestige. But I don't know how you were like how you were his bad, like his his best games like for like four and four. Those were like his top tier games. But he was just funny, 
He always wanted to get the bomb down. He'd do stupid bomb plans where there was, like, no... It'd be still a six-on-six. Six. He'd dive onto the bomb to plan it. But he was he was just one of those... I forget his gamer take, too. It's been forever. I think Black Ops 1 was the last time I played with him. But he was just a lovable idiot that I met on in S&D. Uh, you meet a lot of... A lot of dicks in S and D. Um, I met a couple of my friend, like I think Dirty Styles, one of my friend, was it him? It might not be him. I I might be I may be wrong here, but I think it was Dirty Styles. Let me hold on. Let me update this class real quick. Um, I don't need either of those perks. Need the thermal optics. Actually, I don't need like any of these perks. I do need this for... Hmm. Let me actually just go double concussion. So I can clear rooms out and get assists. Um, but... He was... No, it wasn't Dirty Styles. It was another guy. But he was just an asshole. But he was funny. He would just talk mad shit when you get into a game... He was good, so he could at least back it up. There were some, like, shit-talking people that I... Not that I became friends with, but, but you know, you know, back in the day, I feel like I'm old. I feel like I'm, like, 90 years old when I talk about it. Like, back in my day, back in the day on MW2 and, like, World at War, you'd run into the same people all the time because there wasn't a million people playing Search and Destroy. There was, like... 20,000 of us and there were like a thousand of us that were like consistently playing it every day and you'd run into the same guys and you know you'd have like little rivalries like I, I remember uh, Devil Spawn I'm just gonna call him Nightmare because I don't remember his name Devil Spawn, Nightmare, me and there was another um I forget the other kid's name see it's been so long I don't even remember these guys names um I'm gonna go down below here. There's a guy up top. Okay, he's pushing. I'll watch this until he's pushed out. I shot prematurely there. That's my bad. Yeah, kill him. Thank you. I can't hit him. I don't have my mic in, so I can't, like... I can't, like, tell him, hey! I, can't, I couldn't tell him, like, hey, yo, there's a guy behind you! I probably should have pushed him, but um, there was there was the four of us, and you know it's six v six, so it's a little weird. But there was like a group of another four guys that we'd run into them all the time, and they just talked, they just talked unbelievable shit, like unreal amount of shit, and they were, they were like, I don't know, they weren't better than us, but they weren't, they were bad, like they'd hold their own. But we'd run into them, like, every other night. It was ridiculous. Um, and, and so you kind of, like, form these, I don't know, not clicks, but you, you, you form kind of, like, these rivalries almost, or, like, these friendly... I don't know why he went for the diffuse there. Um, without crouching, also. Uh, but you'd form these little clicks and little rivalries and little stuff like that, because if you played all the time, I think he might have had that if he crouched. Um... But you'd form these rivalries, and you'd play them almost like every night or every other night if you stayed in lobbies. If one of you, because these guys were guys that backed out a lot unless they, like, got us. They they liked to stay in the games if they were against us. But these guys were guys that backed out. We were guys that hung out in lobbies and stayed in lobbies. So eventually, you know, the Call of Duty algorithm is going to put you guys together. Like, it's only a matter of time. They're getting the bomb down at B, so I don't... Oh, shit. I gotta get across... I gotta get across the map. To contribute something to this. I guess I'll just watch their back. I guess I'll just be the team player here and watch their back. Okay. I don't have to watch their back anymore. 
Oh my god, I hit the... Oh, damn it! <laughs> I rushed for the kill. Um, but we formed this little rivalry with these guys, and they were, you know, they, we'd almost, like, search each other out. Like, we knew they were leaving... They were they were a team that left, and we knew that we were a team that stayed. So we just stayed in lobbies, and usually they get matched up with us eventually. You know, obviously some nights we wouldn't be on, or some nights they wouldn't be on, or whatever. But a lot of the time we got matched up, and it was it was like a fun thing. You can't really do that anymore. Like even if you and another group play every night, you're not gonna run into each other every night nowadays. Like you can't have that those fun little like. Oh my god, that guy just got I'll back up. I'm gonna give it a different angle. Like, what insane person sits way back here? There's only two of them. Why am I... I don't need to... Okay, I really don't need to camp because they're all dead. Um, but there was another group. These guys were just awful. Like, they just, they just talked mad shit. They were just horrible at the game. I think it was... Not, uh, I don't know exactly their gamer tags, but I, one was... His name was Nikon. There was Nikon... Phase. Like, not... His name was just Phase. It was like X, Phase, X, Y, something. Some stupid shit like that. Um, but that was his gamer tag. Um, and then there was, there was Leon and Lycan, I think were their names. There was a lot of, like, four-man teams. Bomb planted. I think, actually, they may be, hold on, let me see. There might be, actually, I need to watch this back. Actually, okay, never mind, they cleared him out. Um, but they were just awful at the game. Like, <laughs> like they'd get matched up with us, they talk mad shit, and then, you know, we beat them, like, nine games in a row <laughs> before they'd stop talking shit and leave. But I just, I miss... Like, there's a part of me that loves the new Call of Duties. I hate, I want boots on the ground, that's why I'm, like, getting back into it for Modern Warfare, but... Um... There's a part of me that like misses the old the old days, the old S and D. I also miss um I don't know, I used to have like one of my friends still plays. And it's not like I couldn't play with him, I just like I don't think we're we're never on at the same time. That's really it. Of course. Of course! If I could have just... See, if I would have just sat there for literally, like, three seconds longer, I have that kill. I can't believe that... I can't believe either of those dudes just shot. And I can't believe this dude... This dude is just straight reckless. Which is, I guess, I guess is how I use... I, I... Let me... Let me... We're gonna win this. No, well, yeah, we're gonna win this. I'm gonna play one more game of the episode. I'm just gonna play it how I used to play Surge. Just the re most reckless idiot on the planet. That's just how I used to play Surge. Like, I got kills or I died. That was pretty much how I played Surge. Just, like, now I'm, I'm a little bit, like, smarter. And it actually kind of, it takes away to what made me halfway decent at Surge. Um... I think my peak of playing Search was was actually on Black Ops 1. I was a better Modern Warfare 2 player than I was Black Ops 1, but... I, I think I peaked in Black Ops 1. And this motherfucker, if he had his gun out, we win. Alright, let me pull out the VMP and just play like... Just play like an idiot. Because that's just how I used to play, like a reckless idiot. We started out halfway decent at this game, but... Switching operation. Now we've kind of fallen back with the pack. Fallen probably behind the pack. Charges acquired. Be advised. Hostile HCXD spotted. We got the bomb. 
Okay, they didn't come this way. Alright, he cleaned him up. Alright, it's just me. Fight for the win. Tango down. There's no way I do this. Metal map and. No, oh my God! I pulled up the scoreboard because I wanted to check. I wouldn't kill him anyway because all my shots were on. But literally, God timing again. Like really, three three shots at that point weren't enough. I could have clutched that up. If I kill him, I think I'd win. I think I had it if I killed him. Alright, I'm just gonna go play like a reckless city today. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. I'll continue my stupid stories in the next one. Be advised, hostile rolling thunder inbound. Okay, there's three down, two. How did he not kill me? He knew I was there. I gotta step out. He's Ruin down. Read him like a read him like a book, dude. Read him like a book. I knew once I killed the guy on bomb, he'd have to ki he'd have to push. Cause if I just stopped on the bomb, he'd be done. That'd be GG. But I read him like a book. Headshots, put him right on target. Got the defuse. That's one way to. That's the way to end it. I played like a reckless idiot that round, cleaned up the- actually I didn't because I had to sit because of the rolling thunder. I don't have any cool gestures like everybody else. Um, cleaned up the nice the nice kill at the beginning on the guy that should have killed me. He knew I was in that corner. He should have come around the corner shooting. I don't know why he didn't because uh, he knew I was sitting in that corner. Uh, and then cleaned him up and then got that nice- got the- he got the lucky- I'll be honest, I got lucky and killed the guy planting the bomb, or who had planted the bomb, and then I got the the read on the guy who was up top. I knew he had to come around that corner to, once I killed the guy off bomb. I knew that had to happen. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I know this may not have been the most exciting episode. We're going to play Search in the next episode, too. It's just my roots. It's what I started Call of Duty doing, so maybe I'll tell some more stupid stories, pointless stories in the next one. That probably don't interest anybody, but they're a small tar talking point. Oh, oh, could it be Shiva time? It could be Shiva time, but I don't think it is. I don't think I want to use Shiva. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think we want to roll Shiva. Well, we might play Reckless Idiot with the. I really need to buy some COD points and just buy the extra slides. How much are they? Three hundred. That's like five bucks or something. I probably should just buy that uh, just to have them. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I think uh, in the next one, we'll continue playing a little search with these same guys, I guess. And uh, we'll be playing Breach. So I will catch you all then. Peace out.